And today I'm gonna share with you and how to record, edit, and save a Zoom session. And have you all had the opportunity to use um, Zoom already? Or, or who hasn't? No, used? I'm arranging that. Yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> y'all working on it? Okay. Thank you. I had my first class yet. Yeah. Uh, you had your first class. Before you tell us how to record, could you tell us why we should record? <laughs> oh, yeah. And so the reason, the reason you could record your meeting is if, um, like, for example, if a student was absent in your course, you could um, share the recording with them. Also, if um, students love to review content, so maybe at a later time, students could review the video um, so they can review the material if they want to study for an exam or if they want to um, prepare for an assessment that you have like a midterm or final exam. And again, when you record the video and save it, you, could, again, you can publish it at a location and it allows students to review the instructional material. Thank you for the, for the question. Thank you. And today's workshop agenda, I'm gonna share with you how to, how to record a Zoom session. And let me, I'm gonna mute everybody, but if you have a question, go ahead and raise your hand. I'm gonna keep an eye on the participants. Hey Caesar, how, how do I put y'all at the top instead of on the side? Make all the pictures of the participants Oh, horizontal I, instead of vertical yeah i think there's a choice between uh, on the top of the video as like gallery view speaker view wow, that's where is right. it let's see that's at the top where all the videos are located billy okay i don't see okay. I, 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 don't I, see. I see what the gallery one is but I don't know where the horizontal one is. Yeah, I, I think when somebody's sharing content, I think the videos are on the top of the uh, your 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 computer, correct? No, it's on the side. No, it's on, it's the, on side. the side. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We we can move the screen now over. Yeah, you can. You can move it. Uh huh. Okay. So we can. And, see okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. can I, can and I'm gonna I'm gonna. <clears throat> I'm gonna mute you all. I'm gonna I'm gonna Wait. mute you all. But if you have a question, you could raise your hand. I'm gonna keep an eye on the on your on the list of participants. Okay. Caesar, okay. can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm sorry. Um, to get the videos on the top, um, you have to go to view options and uncheck side by side mode. That view oh, options, okay. that green bar on the top. Thank you, Adela. You're welcome. Oh, view options, okay. Okay, thank you. And I went ahead and muted everybody. Again, if you have a question, you can raise your hand and then I can give you the mic so, so we can give you um, time to ask a question. And again, the, um, the agenda for today, I'm gonna talk about how to record a Zoom session, how to edit a Zoom session, and how to save a Zoom session. This is the agenda for this afternoon. And I'm also going to share the PDF of this presentation. Let me do that within the chat. I'm sharing it within the chat, so you can have also this um, these steps for you to put in practice. Because today is just an overview, and so you can practice it after the presentation also. And we could also um, sit. I mean, we could also schedule a Zoom 
Zoom session with you so we could um, walk you through the steps also. And I think the PDF. Wait, uh, yeah, yes. Michael has a question. Oh, I'm sorry, Michael. Let me go ahead, Michael. Let me unmute you. Sorry, sorry about that. Oh, Michael, can you uh, mute, unmute your microphone if you have a question? Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, can you uh, email a session to someone? Or do you just have to uh, be able to save it to some place where they have to go looking for it? If you, um, if you save to the cloud, the, uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna talk about the difference between cloud and saving it to your local computer next. Okay, Sorry. is that ground? <laughs> Yeah, to the okay. cloud. Yeah, okay. yeah, you're you're ahead of the game, but we'll get there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <All right. laughs> yeah. Thank you for the All question, right. though. I'll shut up. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And again, if you have a question, if you could raise your hand within the participants, I'm going to keep an eye. I have my participant list open, and I'll keep an eye on the on the raise hand question. Caesar, I can help you out with that as well. Thank you. And clear all. Okay. And today's record Zoom session. Again, I'm going to talk about um, the record. I'm going to talk about clicking the record button and Zoom controls. So this is the summary. I'm going to go more in detail on each of these steps. Um, again, how to click record button in the control Zooms. How to select the record to the cloud, to the computer, or to the cloud. I'm also gonna talk about how to click pause and stop in the recording, how to do that, and how to click and end all your meeting at the end, and how to choose your recording and save it into a location and within your, your computer also. So this is just like a little basic overview. So now I'm gonna go more in detail of each of these steps for you. And again, if you have a question, you could raise your hand and Thank you. So this is after you log into your Zoom session, you can uh, see your Zoom meeting. Here in your Zoom meeting, at the bottom of, the, of your Zoom controls, you're gonna, of course, you're gonna have mute, stop video, you're gonna have your participants, your chat, to chat with your participants. You're gonna be able to share your screen with your audience. You could also do pulling, and we're gonna, you could also do recording. And the one we're gonna focus today is the recording button. And here in the red arrow is pointing to the record button. So in order to start recording, you're gonna click on that button with the little circle. It's the record button. So you're gonna click on that button to start your Zoom session. So you can start recording your Zoom session. Now. Oh, no, not now. Right now, I'm just going over the stats for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and again, if you have a question, you could raise your hand, or if I'm going too fast, I can slow down for you. And I also shared with you a PDF and all these steps. You can try all these steps at the end. So after you hit the record button, I'm gonna go to the next step. After you hit the record button, you're gonna get two options. You could record to the cloud. If you go, to, if you choose to record to the cloud, is um, you're gonna get an email to your school email with the link of your recording, and uh, and it also it has a password to share with your students of that recording. 
And again, if you choose to record to the cloud, you get an email, a, a link to your recording to your email and a password to that recording so you can share with your students. And again, the when you record to the cloud, it only saves it for 30 days. If you record it to your computer, what is what we recommend is because you get to keep it for as long as you want, you could um, save it to your computer or to a different location that you want to keep it permanently. Okay. And again, what you do is you click on the record button. You have two options to record to this computer or record to the cloud. So in today's session, we're going to record to this computer because we're going to use that video file later on to edit that video clip. Oh, I have a question. Can anyone record or just the host? It, it depends how you set up the Zoom session. You could provide, um, you can give the participants permission so they can record also. Or um, it's mostly the host or co-host. And again, it's depending on your settings of your Zoom session. and. To, so you could allow who can record your Zoom session. I have another question that says, anyone with permissions, you need to decide if you want to give, again, to, you need to decide if you want to give permissions to your students. Thank you, thank you for these questions. What about recording etiquette? Oh, thank you for that question. Recording etiquette, you wanna, um, before you start recording, you wanna uh, just let students know that they are being recorded and they wanna add um, professional. And also um, just lay out the expectation of the students that you, this is for instructional purpose. So just be careful on what you say and how the way you react also. And so just lay out the expectations for the student that this is professional video recording. Thank you for the questions. So this is, um, I just demonstrated to you how to click record. And again, you have two options to either to record to the computer or record to the cloud. I have a question. Can students object to the recording or stop that happening? The students at the beginning of the Zoom session, they are going to get a message saying that they, this is being recorded. And if they choose not to continue, the Zoom session will close for them. So they, they have the choice if they want to be recorded or not. And again, if they choose not to be recorded, the, their Zoom session will, will, will close. Thank you for that question. If you elect to record, does it take up um, if you do select to record to the computer, it does take space, but I'm going to, at the end of this presentation, um, I'm going to talk to you about the options. You could either upload your video presentation to the OneDrive. Uh, that's where I recommend to save all your, your video sessions, say, because I think you have like one terabyte of space in your OneDrive. So that's where I recommend that you save your, your save video sessions from your that you have saved to your computer. Thank you for the question. And again, you could raise your hand or you can type in your questions in the chat. I've been I keep it an eye on the chat also. They say I got another question. Can OneDrive be a default option? Again, you have to upload the video file to your OneDrive. Thank you for the question. Okay, and y'all, y'all can see, am I still frozen or am I, okay, no, okay, thank you. And the next step is um, after you hit record, right here, uh, as you can see in the Zoom session, 
let me point out let's use draw as you can see that my zoom session is being recorded it has like a little red dot on the top left hand side of your zoom session it shows a little dot with the red and here it also has the controls you can either pause it or you can stop it and here at the bottom also has the controls you can pause your zoom session or you can stop your session again pausing helps like for example maybe you want to like sneeze or take a drink of water so you can continue your zoom session and you could um, pause it or stop your your recording so again the the record buttons here on top you can see that it's being recorded you can pause it and stop it or or the pause and stop buttons also here at the bottom of the zoom controls thank you let me clear my and then so after you hit the let me go back So after you hit stop your recording, it stops the recording of your Zoom session. And then after you finish your Zoom session, you already stop hitting, you hit stop recording and you already finish your Zoom session. You hit end meetings for all. I have a hand risen. Let me, you can go ahead and Dr. Hall, you can ask your question. Thank you hey, for raising uh, Caesar, so these uh, buttons for pause and stop recording, do those show up only after you hit the record button? Correct, correct, okay. thank you. Great Thanks question, great question. Thank you for the question. And here, after you, again, after you end your Zoom session, um, you really hit stop recording. The next step is to hit, um, you want to end your meeting. You want to end your meeting. So it's at, uh, it's here, you want to end the meeting. It's at the bottom right hand side. And then after you hit end meeting, you're going to get another choice. It's going to call end meetings for all. So those are the two. First you hit end meeting and then end meeting for all. And this is to close the entire, your entire Zoom session of your meeting. Clear. Okay, I'm just making focus. What happens if the host forgets to end the meeting for all? If the host forgets to, to, to end meeting for all, that means you used to have your Zoom session open and your recording won't process until you hit end meeting for all. And, and that's what I'm gonna show you next, how you're, you're gonna get that choice. Thank you for the question. It says, do I uh, have another question? It says, do latecomers to a meeting interrupt the recording in any way since they have, since they have to get permission to enter? If it depends how you have set up your meeting. If you need to approve your participants that are in the waiting room, then you have to, as a host, you need to manually approve them what they join the meeting. But all of that's being um, your 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 meetings being. Whatever you're presented is what's being re recorded also. Thank you for the question. So after you hit end meeting for all, and 
and just to let you aware, I, I am, I do have a Mac. So, so this is, um, might be different the way where it says save my recordings at, but it's a, a little bit similar. So after you hit end meeting for all, your computer is gonna ask you where, where do you wanna save your video file? The default is gonna save it in your document Zoom folder or you could specify where you want to save it. Again, you specify, you specify what location you want to save it. And after you specify what location you want to save it, you hit save. And again, I think yours will be a little different, but it's mostly similar. Similar. My, I am using a Mac, so it's a little window will, might be different, but it's mostly the similar to where it's gonna ask you where do you wanna save it, and then you're gonna hit save. Clear my drawings. I have a question that says, how do you find the Zoom folder later in your work? Folder later in your work? And it depends um, where, where do you choose you want to save it. Like, for example, I chose to save it on my desktop. So that's where I, where I have, um, where I, like, if I specify I want to save this video Zoom file in my desktop, I know it will be in my desktop. So it's, you have to tell it where do you want to save it on your computer um, also. Caesar by default, it actually goes to documents. So okay. if you just let Zoom uh, set it when you first time you record it, ask you a couple of questions uh, as to where you want stuff. And you, if you just keep hitting save, it will default to the documents folder. And, it's a, and the folder is labeled Zoom. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Terry. So after you finish downloading the file to your computer, either to the documents or to your desktop or wherever you specify where do you wanna save your video file, the next thing is you're asking, how do you edit the Zoom file? So for faculty and staff, you do have access to Camtasia. And at the end of this presentation, I'm gonna show you how, where to access Camtasia, the, the software, and where do you access the license key. So the software is called Camtasia. And when you first launch Camtasia, you click on the Camtasia icon on your desktop. I, I, this is after you install it. And again, we can help you with the installation process. Today is just an overview. But after you install it, you're going to click on the Camtasia icon. And you're going to, this window is going to pop up. And it's gonna ask you, do you wanna get a, you wanna start a new project, a new recording, open a project? And you're gonna choose, you wanna start a new project. So you're gonna choose new project. And then it's gonna ask you, you, the next step is you're gonna click on import media. So you're gonna, you're gonna click on import media. So you can import the video, the Zoom video clip that you have saved on your desktop or your documents. And then after you click on import media, is gonna you have to um, locate the video file, the Zoom file that you have saved on your desktop or my documents. You're gonna click on select on the video. Oops, where is it? You're gonna select the video clip, the Zoom file that you have saved on your desktop or documents. And then you're gonna click on import. You want to import that video 
And I think, again, I shared these, all these steps in that PDF that I shared with you in the chat. And after you hit import, the video imports into Camtasia. See right here. See the video has been imported into Camtasia in the media bin. And then what you do is you're gonna drag this video right here, the one right here. You're gonna drag it, you're gonna drag it to the timeline. You're just gonna select it and then you're gonna drag it all the way to the timeline. So it could the video can go to the timeline. Let me show you again one more time. So again, the video that you have imported into Camtasia, you're gonna drag it to the timeline. And again, Camtasia is available for faculty and staff. And I'm gonna show you at the end of the presentations how to download it and enter your license. So after you added it to your timeline, now you wanna start editing the video clip. The way you edit a piece of the video clip is you, let me show you. You're gonna, um, this, this looks like a green and red cursor, cursor right here, you see it? And there's like a needle right here. So you're gonna, so you are gonna put this needle wherever you wanna edit it. Like for example, if you wanna, if you don't want this, if you don't want this first part of the video, you're gonna put the needle wherever you wanna, split the video. Let me share that with, I'm gonna explain it to you one more time. Again, what you do is you get the green and red cursor with the needle. needle. And like, for example, if this is the part that I do not want for my video, like for example, that's where I, I did hums or I did, oh, uh, or I said, um, or I, I did something within that first part of the video that I do not wanna use. What you do is you drag this needle over here and you place it right here. And then what you do next is this little icon right here. Here, let me show you where that clear. There's this icon right here. It's called the split video icon. And after you place the needle right there, you choose that icon right there and it's called the split video. If you hold, like if you put your mouse selector over that icon, it tells you it's, it's called the video split tool. And it splits the video and creates two little videos for you. Any questions about this needle? It's called the cursor, cursor needle. needle. And again, it's just like splitting the video in, into two. And, oh, I have a hand risen. Go ahead, Susan. Oh, I think you have to unmute yourself, please. Unmute. So I can see how this would be used to cut off a piece at the beginning. What if I had a chunk in the middle? Is it the same thing? I, I, I split it at the beginning of the piece I want to get rid of and then split again at the end of the piece? Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. Thank you for the question, Susan. And if you want to shop it in the middle, you move that needle to the middle. Let me use my drawing tools. You move that needle to the middle and then you put the needle here in the middle. 
and it chops the video, it splits the video into two. And if there's, like for example, this, if you don't want this part right here, you select it and then you hit delete on your keyboard and it removes it from your timeline. Did that answer your question, Dr. Hall? Okay, thank you. Great question. So this is the part, this is, you see how I split it, my video into two when I use my needle? And this is the part that I do not want because that's the part where I said hum or ha or ha. And the way you, you just select that video clip, the little smart video part, and then you hit delete on your keyboard and it removes it from your timeline. And that, that's pretty cool that you can edit that. Let me show you again. So the way you remove that video part right here is you just select it with your mouse, select this area here, and then you hit delete on your keyboard so you can remove it from your timeline. Once, once you remove it from your timeline, you move, you move this whole area, this whole video, you move it to your left. So it, you won't have a space at the beginning of your timeline. Let me explain to you one more time. Again, once you have removed that video clip at the beginning, you're gonna select this long video clip and you're gonna drag it with your mouse and move it to your left of your timeline. Clear. I have a question, let me see. Is there a way to control the volume to take music and slow? Yes, thank you for the question. There is a way to control the volume and here within this video clip, you, you, I think you double, you double click on it and you could adjust the audio levels of the video clip. Thank you for the question. It says, can you move stuff around? A question I have, a, can you move stuff around? Let's say you want to do something at the front elsewhere, maybe near the middle. Yes, you could move around these video clips within the timeline and you could do more um, editing of this. Thank you for the question. Thanks for the questions that you're adding to the to the chat. I am reading them, or or you could raise your hand if you wanna speak in the microphone. So after you have moved your video clip on the left to the, all the way to the left hands, uh, all the way to. So after you move this whole video clip, all the way to the left hand side. Now you're finished editing, doing all the video splits. You're ready to export your video. So you're saying, how do you export it, your video out onto your computer? What you do is on the top right hand side, you're gonna click on this green button, it's the share button. And you have the choice to save it to the local file. Or if you have a YouTube channel, like you could also publish it directly to YouTube. Today, I'm gonna to explain to you how to save it to your local file. So I'm gonna, you're gonna choose local file, which is your computer. You're gonna save it to the computer that you, you're gonna save the video that you edit to your computer. So you're gonna choose local, share, and then local file. So again, you're gonna click share and local file. I have a question, can you do, um, Can you do captions, splice it up, or like short films? Um, for 
captions in Camtasia, you do have to enter the captions. Um, you have to either upload a caption file or you have to type in the captions using Camtasia. And you again, you, you are able to use the video split to split the videos. And you, so yeah, it is like a little short film for you. Oh, I, I'm seeing the doctor. I mean, I see Kathy says the Camtasia will caption. So, so yeah. Oh, Caesar, Caesar, you do have to add captions. Oh, yeah, you do have to add. Thank you. You're right. You're right. Okay. But you can. You know, you can. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Just a feature that allows you to do it. Thank you. Yeah, there is Dr. Thank you, Dr. Toyo Doyles. There is legal implication sharing a file with student faces on YouTube. So you have to be careful. Uh, recommend either OneDrive or keeping it within uh, Blackboard, of course. Clear. So after you hit share and you want to save it to your local file, it's going to ask you, um, recommend to name to name your video. And again, you want to enter a name for your video. So when you're finding your video on your desktop or your my documents or on your computer, you could easily find your video that you have edited and save it on your computer. So here I said, I'm going to name my video Caesar intro and just leave it default file format MPEG-4. And then you want to click on export video. You want to export it. You want to export it to your, to your computer. Thank you, let me see. And then after you export it to your local computer on your desktop, my documents or a particular area that you have save it, you really save it to your computer. And now you wanna, you could also have the option to save this Camtasia video editing project if you wanna edit it more later on or if you wanna edit different parts to make it shorter or take out some more of those hums or, and you want to choose um, save as if you want to save, uh, save your video editing project. This is just to save the video editing project if you want to finish editing it later on. And then, so that's how you just hit save as. And then once you save your video project, you're going to go ahead and you're gonna quick Camtasia. So you can close the software. Oh, and um, so this is the workshop summary. In summary, I show you how to record a Zoom session this afternoon, how to edit a Zoom session, and how to save a Zoom session this afternoon also.